from homes that resemble flying saucers to houses designed after the ones seen on cartoon shows, here are bizarre houses you won't believe exist. Number 18. Bunker Houses Surviving the apocalypse is one thing, but surviving in style is another one. Once you finally realize that the zombies are gone, you might be a little bit bored, so having a cool house might be worth it in the long run. Driving by this place, you'd have no idea what lies underneath. This house in Las Vegas, Nevada was designed to withstand a nuclear apocalypse in the 1980s, but it was also equipped with an underground bunker. This will keep you somewhat mentally stable and will remind you of what life was like before everyone started eating each other's brains. Here you got a pink toilet, hot tub, fake trees, and a realistic looking backyard. What more could you need? It's located about 26 feet below ground, so zombies should never even realize you're there. You might even still have a chance to buy it, but it'll cost you about 1.7 million. Could be well worth the investment. Number 17. The Winchester Mansion This house is often rumored to be extremely haunted. Sarah Winchester believed the only way to escape all the spirits was to move west to California. Her $20 million inheritance was enough to buy her one of the most outlandish mansions ever made. The spirits consulted her on how to build the house, too. Her favorite number was 13, and you'll notice that throughout the design. Here you'll find stairs that lead to ceilings, bathrooms inside of bathrooms, and it was all made like this to confuse the demon attackers. Many believe that this house is still haunted by Sarah and the victims from the Winchester rifle. Number 16. UFO Houses in Florida and Texas People were obsessed with UFOs and futuristic designs, especially during the 1960s. What appears as if a flying saucer has landed is actually a home and a design by a Finnish architect named Matti Suronen. This type of house was dubbed the Futuro House and was light enough to actually be moved by a helicopter. Maybe this explains so many UFO sightings? Who knows? You can still find these in some trailer parks in Pensacola, Florida and in Texas, possibly abducting cows. This looks like one of the creepier places to explore in the Lone Star State, and this photo here was captured from the interior. It looks as though vandals or disturbed people got in there and wrote some crazy messages. The futuristic houses were taken off the market and were a big business failure. Number 15. Stone House in Portugal If you want to get in touch with your inner caveman, you should consider building a stone house like this. Maybe you could add some modern features our ancient ancestors would have enjoyed, such as Wi-Fi or a TV. The current owner is quite surprised by his popularity and how many random people will show up outside of his house. For security reasons, he's reinforced it with bulletproof windows and steel doors just in case anyone decides that they want to live here too. It's been home to robbery attempts and the eco-friendly house is powered by wind turbines. Number 4. The Inversion House this is basically what happens in math class when you try to divide by zero. In 2005, the Inversion House was created and inspired by two sculptors, Dan Havel and Dean Ruck. The exterior skins of the wood of the house were peeled off to create a vortex-looking tunnel that you might not want to step into. The house was already in somewhat bad condition when they came across it, so they used pieces of the house to make it into something fun. This became one of Houston's most well-known pieces of modern art. Number 13. The Pyramid House, Nevada Could the person living in this house be the same person who designed the Luxor Hotel and Casino? Or the Pyramids of Giza? Located about 10 miles away from Las Vegas on 528 Greenway, the owner claimed to have been inspired to build a home like this after visiting the pyramids in Egypt. But you can't fool American Eye. Not too many people will consider moving into a pyramid, unless of course you're a member of the Illuminati. In the city of Henderson, Nevada, this mysterious home was built in 1981 and serves as a landmark. Number 12. Cubic Houses, Netherlands so while you're in the Netherlands, enjoying the tulips and whatnot, consider checking out this strange building complex. Built in Rotterdam, the design was based on the concept of adding new living space on the roofs of buildings. Each cube is tilted at a 45 degree angle. It can look pretty stylish from the inside as well, as you can tell from this photo. Looking at the cube houses from beneath might seem kind of trippy. Number 11. A Greek Temple how would you like to feel like an ancient Greek god and live in a replica temple? 
Also in that Lebanese city of Miseria, this Greek temple is a replica of the Temple of Baalbek, which was only built in Lebanon. Certainly, this temple features some modern technologies like a flushing toilet, washing machine, dryer, etc. Friends of the homeowner must think that he thinks quite highly of himself, right? Number 10. The Fat House Seems like something straight out of a fairy tale. But wouldn't it be awesome to have a marshmallow house? It seems like a bunch of marshmallows exploded in this person's home and seeped through the cracks. The windows are a tad small, so you don't have too much natural lighting in this home. This was actually an Austrian design by a man named Irvin Verm, who made it of iron, wood, aluminum, and polystyrene. He's also made a series of fat cars in a similar style like you see in this photo. Number 9. Melting House this house seems to camouflage well with the nature, but you can tell from this photo that it's actually melting. It might not be the design every homeowner is looking for, but if you were walking down the street and came across this thing, you may look twice. In Vietnam, it's known as the Crazy House or Hung Na Guest House and opened publicly in 1990. Number 8. Ransom Canyon Steel House this crazy house in Texas took 34 years to construct and is made of steel. The artist by the name of Robert Bruno lived in this house for 8 months before passing away, but he certainly made his mark on the landscape. It sits on the edge of the Ransom Canyon located just west of Lubbock, Texas. It's been praised by the artist community as a stunning one-of-a-kind accomplishment. It's made of 150 tons of steel and we can imagine it would prove to be fairly sturdy in the case of a zombie apocalypse. With 2,200 square feet of space, it currently is being used to exhibit art shows and host private events. Number 7. House on a Rock Talk about living in the middle of nowhere. If you need a place to lie low for a little bit, this would seem like the right place to do it at. This house here was built on a rock in the Drina River in Serbia in May of 2013. For whatever reason, the homeowner thought it would be an ideal location to build a home. Maybe he's into fishing and can reel in a few fish from his window, who knows? The house seems to be made of wood, and he's really hoping the tide doesn't start to rise. Either way, it makes for a great place to get away. Number 6. The Simpsons House When you were a little kid growing up, it was probably your dream to actually live in a cartoon world. Sure, we've all dreamt about it, and it would be pretty cool. But Fox had a promotional idea to replicate the house by constructing one just like the home at 742 Evergreen Terrace on TV. The house is said to have the same floor layout after the construction crew studied the TV show. A competition took place to see who could win the house during a raffle, and it was this one. Its real address is 712 Red Bark Lane. Currently, it seems to be mysteriously blurred out on Google Maps. So what's really going on here? Number 5. Habitat 67 Located in Montreal, Canada, this was designed by an Israeli-Canadian, Moshe Safdi, and was thought of while studying his master's degree at the McGill University. It was first built in the World's Fair in 1967 and is now considered an architectural landmark that people really want to live in. What's extremely unique and fascinating about this design is that the windows are never actually directly facing another apartment, providing good privacy for the inhabitants. This project was considered a success, leading Softy to many more projects in the future. Number 4. The Dupli Casa This crazy looking home was built in 2008 in the German city of Baden Württemberg. This crazy home was built in 2008 in the German city of Baden Württemberg. Its white and sleek design made it a modern home of the future. You better believe there's some interior space on this one. And they may have had the zombie apocalypse in mind when coming up with this idea because it's got an indoor jacuzzi and tower-like structures peering over the edge. Number 3. Ideal Palace, France Also known as Le Palais Ideal, this building was built in the city of Haute-Rive by a French postman named Ferdinand Cheval. It's an extraordinary example of artistic architecture. He spent years of his life picking up stones from the ground he found during his mail routes in order to build this masterpiece. Why work as a mailman when you have so much talent as a sculptor? The design was inspired by both Hindu and Christian styles and he was hoping to be buried in this palace. When he found out this wouldn't be allowed, he built a mausoleum for himself at the Holt Reeve Cemetery. But this certainly looks like a house. Number 2. The House of Blackheads it's almost impossible to search Riga, the capital of Latvia, on the internet without this iconic building showing up. 
It's known as the House of Blackheads, and it was originally constructed in the 14th century by a guild of unmarried German merchants who inhabited the area. The striking facade displays many different styles of architecture. We're not sure if anyone still lives here, but it has stuck around. And number one, the Pan House. What better way to make your house a little bit more sturdy than by covering it completely in pans? A mechanical engineer living in the city of Jagare, Lithuania, wanted his home to be as unique as possible. He was very politically outspoken and decided he would decorate his house with pots and pans like we see in these photos. Under the rule of the Soviet Union, most houses were assigned a specific look and were not allowed to be too unique. Just to stand out, he put pots and pans on the roof. But once having private land was allowed, he set it upon himself to make it as random and eye-catching as possible. This is now by far the most photographed home in the city of Jagare. So what do you guys think of that video? Let us know in the comment section and be sure to subscribe for new videos every day.